Hey everybody, welcome to part two of our tutorial series on how to audit your wireless network. This particular series is focused on WEP or Wired Equivalent Privacy. Um, also, this video assumes that you've seen part one, how to set up a virtual machine. Um, last time we set up a virtual network bridge in VMware. We also installed a wireless adapter that was compatible with Aircrack NG and was also USB. Finally, we successfully installed Ubuntu in a virtual machine. As you can see here, we updated repositories and set up the root user. Now, if you're not here yet, please watch part one. If you're just following along, welcome. Now, uh, I hope you're ready for some crazy command line kung fu because it's going to get intense. Um, we're going to have to speed it up a little bit in order to get it under 10 minutes. I apologize. You're more than welcome to pause the video at any time. So, first thing we need to do is open up a terminal. Su. Su allows you to log in as root user so you don't have to keep typing in sudo before every command because that's kind of annoying. Okay, now I'm logged in as root. Let's get apt-get install aircrack ng. I've already got it installed. Your um, screen's going to look a little bit different than this, but that command will download and install aircrack ng, provided you've got internet, which you should. Um, now, we're going to turn off internet, actually. It doesn't make any sense, but we're going to. You're going to right-click the network icon at the top right of the screen and disable the networking by clicking here. This is going to turn off your uh, wired network. Okay? Next, we're going to move the screen off to the side here so you can it. <clears throat> okay. There's a little USB dongle here. That's the USB adapter we talked about last video. You're going to click this and connect and disconnect from host. This is going to reserve that wireless interface to the VM and it will not be available on your physical machine. Okay? You're going to click that. It's going to give you a warning that it won't work in your physical machine once this is done. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now we're back in the virtual machine. Next thing we need to take care of is the Airmon command. Airmon is going to display the interfaces you've got. So now that we've connected the wireless interface, it shows up as WLAN 0 and then the chipset, okay? What we need to do is turn this wireless adapter from listening mode into monitor mode. And in order to do this, we have to stop it and then turn it back on again in monitor mode. In order to do this, you again type in the airmon ng command stop WLAN 0. All right, monitor mode disabled. Next, we use the reverse command to start up the interface in monitor mode. So, airmon ng start wlan0. This is going to take about 10 seconds, so I'm going to pause and come back. All right, we've enabled monitor mode on wlan0. As you can see, the command prompt is up, to, up again, so that means it's done. That's all taken care of. Next step is to ask that wireless adapter to display all the access points that are available to it. In order to do that, we type in the arrow dump ng and then the interface wlan0. It's going to change the screen. Now it's going to look for all the access points within its range. So after a good period of time, hit the control C to stop. And you'll notice that this displays a bunch of very useful information we're going to use later on. Uh, first thing we need to look at is the BSS ID or the physical address of the interface, as you can see here. That is the address all the other devices on the network see that access point as. So we'll need to copy this for later. Next up is the power. That's the signal strength. Um, channel. The channel it's running on. Here it's 6. Again, we'll need to know that for later megabytes or megabits in this case it's 54 megabits per second and it's using the web encryption the ESS ID is the name of the network uh, when I created it obviously here it's muffin time so in order to get all this extra clutter out of the way we're going to use the next command which is arrow dump ng once again except we're going to use the C switch and that's the channel so we're on channel 6 uh, w is going to be the file name. We're going to dump all this information into a file um, from here on in. So all the uh, information we gather from all the rest of the commands we're going to be typing in are going to be forwarded to a file of our choosing, which we're going to name it WEP. You can name it whatever you want. Next is the BSS ID. 
and that is the physical address from earlier. We're going to paste that. All right, and finally, the interface, WLAN 0. Now we're only concentrating on that one interface, or that one access point. And we're going to open another terminal window. I'm going to log in as root once again. Now I'm going to find out information about the card. We can do this by using the ifconfig command. Now specifically we're looking at WLAN 0, which is the interface we're using obviously. We're looking for its MAC address. Here it's listed as the hardware address. If you're familiar with MAC addresses, there are 12 characters hexadecimal and unique to each and every card out there. So we're going to keep this window open since we're going to need to copy and paste this MAC address into upcoming commands. Okay, open up yet another terminal window. Login is root. Okay, so now that we've got this running and we've pointed out the access point we're focusing on, trick this access point in thinking we're part of the network. In order to do that, we're going to run the air replay command. Air replay ng negative one zero a and then that access points MAC address which was this so we're gonna go back to the first terminal window copy this move over paste it okay next it's gonna be negative H and this is gonna be your wireless adapters MAC address so you're gonna highlight it up to the sixth set copy and then paste this in as well finally we're going to put in the, actually not finally, we've got E. This is going to be the access points network name, which is Muffin Time, obviously. No better name out there. And finally, we put in the interface, which is WLAN 0. Okay. Now, what we're looking for is this association successful smiley face. Now you know it's working. Next up, we're going to do the same command air replay ng negative three this time b it's the access points mac address so we're going to highlight this copy paste. and then negative h your adapters mac address and finally the interface this is going to send a bunch of junk packets to the access point that the access point is going to respond to. The goal here is to flood that access point with so many requests that it's going to have to respond to each and every one of them. In WEP, the access point and the devices on the network are given away parts of their WEP key with each transmission. So the more packets you get this stupid thing to respond to, the more of its web key it's going to reveal. Eventually, we're going to flood it with so many packets that we're going to have its key. Unfortunately, though, this is going to take quite a bit of time, so we're going to let it run for a little bit. All right, guys, so I went downstairs, made myself a sandwich, came back. I'm still watching packets go up like crazy. But now, if you go back to the very first window, you notice this data column's just freaking out right now. That's what we're looking for. The goal was to get around 30,000, but we've far surpassed that, which is more than enough now. Okay, so now we can stop this since we've got more than enough packets by hitting Control-C. Now we can bring up that file we saved earlier and use the air crack command to find the key for this wireless network. So we run the air crack ng, then whatever you name the file, and the number of that file. And I hit enter. Now it's going to open this, it's going to read all the packets, and crack the key. Alright, about 10 seconds later, it finds the key. You can see it right here, key found, and that's the exact key I put on my network adapter when I set it up. So pat yourself on the back, congratulations, you've cracked your own web key. Hopefully this convinces you to switch to a better encryption. Take care and thank you for watching.